And here we're gonna do it. We got a short section here, so you can't get a full section in. So she's removing a picket. She knows where she wants to put it. Should when, I have a number two? When she laid these out and we pounded the posts in, we set the posts up so that we had full spacing on all the sections so that you don't have a picket that's shorter at one post than the other. Okay, so now just cutting off the notch in the end again. So that's so that we can so that we can sandwich that bottom rail in between the posts. She'll stick it in there, she'll make her mark on the side. And you see, she has it lined up there. It lines up to the hole on the picket. So I'm just gonna use that as my reference of where to cut. The tops I'll cut longer, so I have more to put inside the post. I like when I do this to use a skill I saw. Generally use a skill I, I can saw. feel like I can cut straight through it. Fine blade on it. Well. Okay, so That's why we normally use a skill saw. That's why. At least we got the cut through to finish the section. I think we have to clean that cut up. I think that's gonna work. Yeah, because it'll because it's a rounded post. So by the time I install this one a little differently. that you get that bottom donut in right. Yeah, I don't know who put them on. I think that's how far you got to cut it, Renee. No, it's... Okay. Okay. Sometimes it just takes a little maneuvering to get it. But if you take a look at that, you cannot see that hole on the thing. So we got the, just put the top in. Again, we will have. And then we generally put our screws in through the top. And you have no screws. You don't need to screw the bottom because it can't even move. Yep. On my gates, sometimes I'll just do the first section on the front side. 
to hold the gate a little more sturdy. Yeah, and that, that's, that's a good point that she brings out there is we put the screws on the inside and the tops and the, the bottom is sandwiched in. When this is all done, we'll actually take a, a, a sledge and a, a, a block and make everything a nice smooth run. And then we'll actually take one tech screw into the post, into the galvanized post to keep anything from moving. Tell them so, not to share that because I wasn't wearing safety glasses. Um, Renee says don't share this because she wasn't wearing safety glasses. Um, but, so that's a cut section, so now you've seen a full section and a cut section.